It's a video you saw first on Denver 7 and tonight mixed opinions on whether this officer crossed the line when he choked a man unconscious. Now we know DPD thought the officer's behavior was out of line because they suspended him for 30 days. But we also know the suspect was wanted for several crimes. And we've heard from a lot of you on social media who believe that officer was just doing his job. And Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is here tonight with more on why that officer will not be charged. You're watching video from two officers' body cameras. Yeah, you tried to steal my son's car. Denver police responding to an auto theft. Making sure, okay? Let me go one more time, get my ID. All right. Less than 30 seconds after the second officer arrives, the situation escalates. Oh, hey, yeah, please, no, please. No, no. Sergeant Rudy Zunica puts the suspect in a chokehold and takes him to the ground. You can hear him gasping for air for a full minute before he goes unconscious. Help it. The video is, is gruesome to watch. These chokeholds, they have been controversial for years. The suspect, Jaworski Gother, was charged with assault and attempted motor vehicle theft. While the city found Sergeant Zuniga used more force than was necessary or reasonable and suspended him without pay for 30 days. Tonight, we're asking why the Denver DA's office refused to file charges. If any private citizen were using force under those circumstances, the district attorney would certainly prosecute. Mark Silverstein with the ACLU believes the officer could have been charged under a recent law change in Colorado, which places limitations on when peace officers can use chokeholds, only allowing for their use when a suspect is attempting to escape using physical force or putting lives in danger. The DA's office would only say it declined to file charges, citing no reasonable likelihood for conviction. Denver's police union is standing with Zuniga. President Nick Rogers says he has seen the video and wrote in a statement. This particular suspect tried to break into a home and then tried to steal a Greyhound bus. It was the third police contact in less than 18 hours. The suspect violently resisted arrest and was taken into custody with no injuries. Meanwhile, Denver's Department of Safety is calling this an unfortunate incident and not reflective of DPD standards. They also point out use of force incidents are down 22%. I'm Jennifer Kowaleski for Denver 7. Well, there